Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about calories and macronutrients, whether you should be tracking them and how they might be affecting your health and fitness goals. So most of us have heard about calories before, I'm hoping all of us. So calories refers to energy, whether it's energy going in through foods or energy going out through our basal metabolic rate, daily activities as well as exercise. When we're looking at calories going in through foods, we know that foods contain macronutrients and micronutrients. Micronutrients being vitamins and minerals and macronutrients referring to proteins, carbohydrates and fats. And it's these macronutrients that actually contribute the calories in the food that we then consume. So when we're looking at the different macronutrients, we know that they contain calories. Now, looking at protein and carbohydrates, for example, one gram of each contain four calories, so they're the same. But then fat actually contains nine calories per gram. And that's why typically, mainly in the older days, we saw that low fat diets were very po uh, popular. Because when looking at energy balance, when we're looking at calories going in versus calories going out, that was the main point that was focused on when it comes to weight gain or weight loss. Let's look at weight loss, for example. If more calories are going out through exercise or be it your basal metabolic rate and less going in, we saw that there's a deficit in energy which leads to weight loss. So that's why typically decreasing the fat in your diet would then lead to less calories, which would then typically lead to weight loss. But unfortunately, it's not as easy as that. So these macronutrients actually have a really important a role to play in the body and we shouldn't be um, eliminating one of the groups or loading up on the other so it's really important to have a balance and each of us actually respond differently to these macronutrients whether it's carbohydrates or fats or proteins so they all are really important to have in the body so should we be tracking calories or macronutrients so for some people it does help tracking the calories but definitely also tracking macronutrients it doesn't help we just track calories and we know that we're on a 1200 calorie diet but all of it's just coming from fat or all of it's just coming from protein because then we're missing the plot we need all of those different carbohydrates and proteins and fats or macronutrients to give us all the micronutrients which we know is really important for immunity for growth for development and for bodily functions so it is really important to look at both not just calories but also at the macronutrients so tracking these macronutrients or calories is actually quite easy there's a lot of apps on the market that you can download on your phone something like fat secret or my fitness pal or any other app might help with that but it is quite uh, labor intensive and it's not for everyone so if you do see yourself tracking your calories or your macros I mean, do it maybe for one or two or three days and just get a good idea of what you are currently taking in and which of the macronutrients are making up most of your diet to see whether it's in a balance or if one is really low and the other one's really high. So it could actually give you quite a good insight as to what you're doing at the moment. So all of the eating plans that you can find on the Nutrition Doctor website is a balance of calories. We do have a fat loss plan, which is you know concentrated a little bit on lower carbohydrates but not low carbohydrates and also therefore a little bit high in protein to help with the lean body mass increase whereas the low carb diet still has carbohydrates but it's at the lowest end that it can be but it's still a balance it's not a high fat diet per se so it's really important to have that balance because all of the different macronutrients play a role in your body and that is why they might be affecting your health and fitness goals. So it really depends on what your goal is, how you should be toggling your macronutrients. And that's why it's really important to maybe consult with us to make sure that you're on the right plan. And that's why we look at the in-body report as well as at your medical history and your goals to be sure to recommend the correct plan um, to you with the right macronutrient ratios and calorie bracket. Please be sure to send us any questions via email or WhatsApp if you do have any. And good luck with this time forward and hope you have a great 21 days.